Welcome to Electron Online. Let's start out with something that's fairly straightforward, adding single digit numbers. When the numbers add up to a total that is less than 10, that's pretty straightforward. In this case, we have 3 plus 5, and the way we tend to look at it, it's easier to think of the larger number, and then we add the smaller number to it. Starting with 5, add 3 more to that, that's 6, 7, and 8. The total of that is 5 plus 3 equals 8. Here again, we have 2 plus 6, but again, it's easier to think of starting with the bigger number, 6. Add 2 more to that, 6 plus uh, 6, 7, 8. 2 plus 6 equals 8. 2 plus 3, same thing, we take the larger number and add 2 more to it. 3, 4, 5, so 3 plus 2 is 5. And here we have 4 plus 5, start with the larger number, add 4 more to it. 5 means from 5 we get 6, 7, 8, and 9. 4 plus 5 is 9. Most of us have learned how to do that simply by rogue memorization, starting from grade one. We look at two numbers and somehow we associate the two numbers together and come up with the answer. And we should learn how to do that. That's typically the best way to do it. But when it comes to two numbers, when we add two numbers together and the numbers add up to a number greater than 10, now it becomes a little bit more difficult to learn how to do that from rogue memory. One of the techniques that we can use is take a look at the largest number and see how much more we need to, to get to 10. For example, we'll start with the number 9, we need one more to get to 10. So we take that one away from 6, what that means is we take 9 plus 1 and 6 minus 1, this equals 10 and this equals 5. And then we add the 10 and the 5 together to get 15. In our brains, what we do is we say, okay, we need one more to make 10. I'll take it away from 6. Take one away from 6, that becomes 5. This becomes 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. When we take a look at the second one, we do the same thing. We take the largest number and say, how many more do I need to make it to 10? I need two more to go from 8 to 10. If I take two away from 7, 7 minus 2 is 5. 5 plus 10 gives me 15. Again, the way that worked is we need 8. We need two more to get 10. And if we then take the 2 away from 7, we get 5. 10 plus 5 gives me 15. Here we do the same thing with 5 plus 7. We take the biggest number, 7. How many more do we need to make it to 10? We need 3 more. We take that away from 5. Take away 3 from 5, that gives me 2. 10 plus 2 is 12. Again, what we did was we had 7. We need 3 more to make it to 10. We subtract the 3 from 5, that gives us 2. 10 plus 2 gives us 12. And here we have two numbers, 9 plus 8. I'll take the bigger number. I need one more to make that 10. 9 plus 1 equals 10. I subtract the 1 from the 8. 8 minus 1 gives me 7. 10 plus 7 gives me 17. And that's how we work with numbers in our head. Do another example. Let's say we start with the number 8 plus 5. I need to add two more to make that 10. I subtract the 2 from 5. 10 plus well, if I subtract 2 from 5, I get 3. 10 plus 3 gives me 13. If we take the number 7 plus 6, I need 3 more to make that into a 10. I take the 3 away from 6, that gives me 3. 10 plus 3 gives me 13. And slowly but surely, we start feeling comfortable by looking at those two numbers, realizing how many more I need to get to 10. I subtract it from the smaller number, and then add 10 plus what's left from the smaller number to give me the total number. And that's the way we can very easily look at two numbers that are single digit and come up with the sum. And that's how we do that.